Hey guys, we're going to do some speculation, some deck tech, as well as uh, talk about some of these cards. But before we begin, I do want to give you a general overview of some of the cards that have recently spiked in price. Obviously, these lands are no longer a few dollars. They are $10. I purchased most of these for under $2, or in trade for under $2. And it was a time where, because they were in the event deck, extremely extremely cheap um, as well as the, these cards were not as cheap or as common but they were, were definitely not ten dollar cards like they are today hot master you could honestly get for a few dollars back in the day as well as olivia vodarin but the probably the best pickup recently i got was these apparently creeping tar pit is a 20 24 card non-foil the foils i don't even want to check up so if you want to play on a but the reason that this is so advantageous if you buy these for two dollars a piece and i have a bit more of this if you trade for these at two dollars and then they suddenly become ten dollars you can trade people are going to want them in play sets and now you're looking at 40. you're looking at spending less than what is that eight of them 12 15 you're looking at spending less than 30 dollars definitely less than 30 dollars cash $30 trade has now become, what, $150 trade? That's how you play it. That's like a, almost half a standard deck, really. Uh, that's how you can do good. And yes, it takes time. Yes, you have to hold it till like the cows come home. But and you can't bail on it. The worst part is this card didn't really go up in price until recently. And I've had this card. If you watch my older YouTube videos, I think especially a new law student when I went through the collection, I had this card and I was saying like bad stuff about it. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Woe is me. This card is just like, you know, but $2 becomes $10 in trade. $2 in trade becomes $10 in trade. What can you ask? What more can you ask of this card? And the answer is not very much. I mean, it's $10 in trade now. And people want a place out of it. So they want $40 of it. The same goes for this. I don't even remember, like, I purchased these recently for almost no money. Because, <laughs> like, this is such a, this is a card that, like, I don't understand, or no one, I didn't understand it was valuable. Obviously, I have to uh, trade in a video game now. And Olivia, I only have one Olivia right now because some of my favorite cards, they just go straight to collection. And Olivia is one of them. Stoneforce Mystic was one of them. Archangel, actually, I have a few of those. Elspeth will be one of them. Uh, Jace is actually one of them, too. Jace AOT. Um, and the hunt master, I mean, hunt, I don't even know how I get nine hunt masters. Like, how does that happen? I didn't actively pursue hunt master, but definitely I actively pursued the fast lands. And when you look at this, maybe it was like four bucks in trade. Now it's ten bucks. When you look at the uh, razor verge, it's two bucks in trade. Now it's ten bucks. We look at Olivia, it was like four bucks in trade. Now it's fifteen dollars. Hunt master was probably not. I mean. I can't imagine what price I got at Huntmaster at because I hate Huntmaster. Sixteen dollars right now, but like I wouldn't. I think what happened was a lot of people were leaving the game and they just wanted to trade me like all their stuff or sell me all their stuff, and that's the only reason I would even have Huntmaster. Like Huntmaster was not a the fact that I have at least nine of him is very surprising to me because I'm like again I'll make another separate video about. Each of these has their own story, especially Olivia. I have to go in storage, and once I go in storage, Olivia was my very first card that I did very well on speculation-wise on YouTube. It wasn't Stoneforge, it wasn't Voice, it wasn't Elspeth, it wasn't any of those cards. It was Olivia Vodarin was the card that kind of got me interested into um, doing it. And I obviously was not doing the correct way. Like today, I don't understand what I do, or what I did in the past, is not ideal for the game. I'm not, um, and I made a video about this. I can see how people who buy up these cards and spike up these cards, that's not what I do. I've purchased these cards a long time ago, like a long time ago, as soon as they rotate out. That's why I got them for $2, $4, but I totally get it. Um, I get the idea that you're looking at stacks of these cards and you're like, hmm, do you does MTG Line really need this many razor for thickets and you don't even know like how many I have like I have stacks of them and the answer is no but at the same time if you hit on a razor verge thicket you're good that buys your entire modern deck that buys your entire standard deck 
It's not going to buy you a legacy deck, but it will buy you definitely a modern deck for $300. Like the trade value, I, assuming I can move the Razor Verge Ficket at $10 a pop, I have enough of them to cover a $300 modern deck. I definitely have at least 30 of them. And the same with, uh, with the other one, Black... Actually, the other one was harder to get. This one, the Black Cleave Cliff, so it's very difficult to get because it saw more play in Burn, a tier 2 deck. But, so it was difficult to get, It was, and it wasn't in the event deck, as I'll discuss it a little bit later. But I did want to take some time to talk about, you know, these cards and how to build. I, I realize now the goal is not to make money. The goal is to have a collection that you can trade into a deck that you want. Magic the Gathering is super expensive. And as much as I hate doing so, like, I, I really do want to say in the beginning that I don't like... I don't like making these videos because they are very... First of all, they seem to me like... Okay, I would go show you all my go awesome cards that I've spiked in price. I'm awesome. That that video, I, no, that's I ha I would hate to make a video like that, and that's what this video is coming off as. But at the same time, if you guys are a true fan or you enjoy MTG Finance, you enjoy budget, this is the best way to do it. I mean, how else can you buy trade for a two dollar card and then have it be ten dollars and then have people want to trade it and Razor. Verge, Thicket, all of these cards I'm mentioning right now, they spiked in price and they're easy to move. They are super easy to move right now. And that's that. I mean, I totally appreciate where a lot of people might believe I'm an MTG Finance channel, but I'm more of an MTG budget channel. I want to teach you guys how to make magic cheaper. I, again, I'm going to preface every single video because it's that important by saying we're not going to make money from this. We're going to just afford a better deck. We're going to be able to play more different types of decks instead of being tied up to one deck. But you have to go about this in a non-spiky way. Because if you do a spiky way, the only way you're going to, you're only going to lose money. So, let's spend this week talking about these speculate. And a lot of people will say, why don't you make a call or speculation? Why don't you call a call card? And the, the fact is, if I made a video saying we should all... Buy this card and maybe some of you would do that and that's not what i want i want you guys to make your own decisions i don't want you to pay for an mtg finance article or a paywall of some type i don't get that because by definition if a hundred people are getting the same information and they are ready to buy and they're encouraged to buy why would you be making any money because a hundred people wouldn't they beat you like unless you're the first person who read the article and it's like oh he snap by snap by then that's not a way to make money right Anyway, I do want to make this video and I do want to uh, spend at least some time on this channel, although I really hate this type of video on MTG Finance. Like, it's hard for me to get away from it just because even these speculations are years old. I think these speculations are a year or two old. And now they've come to, uh, it's not just these. I mean, I obviously have all of the man lands, all the fast lands, multiple dozens of Olivia Vodaria, including play sets of foil ones. And Hunt Master, again, like Hunt Master, how the hell did I get nine of them? Like, it's baffling to me. Anyway, bye guys.